sorry. Uh, we have a father and mother, right? Right now, in a family with their children's children. So father going to work and mother take care of your the baby's children, right? So in the past, family was the first partnership because father, for example, going went off for hunting and the mother taking care of house and doing agriculture in the, around the house area, um, preparing foods. So children also doing work in the house. So it was a little bit community, which they call, actually we can call it partnership because all member in the house, in the family, they have obligations, what they are gonna do. And that's why in the past, before agriculture revolution, I mean, re, uh, sorry, uh, industrial revolution, and uh, until society became richer, I mean, 19th century actually, and uh, going even, even after, I think even in 20th century, uh, okay, after enrichment, so we can call it even second half of 20th century, before that period, I mean, before that time, family was considered as a corporation, as a partnership. And if you, each family wanted to have more children, more than one, more than two, more than three. Why? Because they're really hands. So children were hands in a, in a partnership. So in if you have a like two only sons in the family, what you gonna have? So you have less workability in your partnership. So they can produce less foods. So less foods can be sold in the market. That's why in the past they needed many children. So I think the same in your country. Do you have any statistic? I mean, any information? How big was a family in Vietnam? I think, for example, like 200 years ago, 100 years ago. Now I think in your in your country, usual family, like normal family, they have two, three children, right? Correct. I think it's recommended that each family have uh, two or less child. It's recommended. Yes. Oh, I see. For so, now, though, but uh, in the past, we don't have that uh, policy. Ah, I see you have policy. But in the past, I think you had a lot, a lot. It's it's economic rules. Uh, we do like uh, a family can have up to like like a like um a couple. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? dozen of child in the yes. past? Yes. It's economic rule. So in a economy in economic sorry in a market where where you need hands, you need produce more children. That's normal. Now economic situation in a country change it. Now we you don't need to have a lot of hands to survive. You just need ability to work. I mean your head, your head, and your brain, and uh, your healthy body. What all? That's all what you need right now in the market to do well and to survive. In the past, you couldn't survive without hands. That's why many families needed to produce more children than two, three, and even four. In my country, for example, my grandma, 
my parents' mother. So they they had uh, they had uh, they gave birth to fifteen fifteen children fifteen. So three of them dead. Yeah, at the, at the moment of birth, at the moment of birth, or maybe in uh, two three months, so they couldn't survive. But anyway, they produced fifteenth, and three of them dead, and uh, and finally uh, 12, 12 persons worked for the family. So. Uh, now the, no one in my country in my country producing like 10 children five children five children is abnormal in, nowadays for but if you're taking back to 50s i mean 50 1950 you can see that many families had a, like 10 15 children the same was in the past i mean 100 years ago 200 years ago. The first reason was a really high death degree. Second one was the hands. So family needed hands to produce more, uh, produce, produce foods, uh, goods, which they gonna sell. Oh, okay, before twenties, right? Yeah. So I think my country, uh, for example, in your country, if you say like giving birth uh, for five, for four ch children is really outstanding and like big, big advantage. So the same here right now so for example if you take a look in my to my country at my country like the 20s uh, i mean 2000 year so four children was like um it's okay so it's not it wasn't like big issue but now if if you say i have four children everyone says oh great it's good job it's like you number one in society Everyone says it, but like if you take it back 20, 20 years back uh, to past, so no one will be surprised uh, with that for children. So, but in Vietnam, you have really high population, right? So it's around 100 million, I guess, even more, I think. Uh, in your country so 100 million but you don't have really big land and uh, big part of your lands it's not suitable to to live in my country a little bit different because we have only 35 million and our land is a little bit bigger than Vietnam and we have more places to live actually we're not like landy and holes uh, country but uh, anyway yeah but actually your country's population is really good you you have a future with 100 billion it's really easy to do everything what you want in economic a little bit hard for my country because we only have 35 we do we must do something like high technology what we not doing well actually so if you have less population you must invest more money in a artificial or something intelligence projects if you have more people like over than 100 you can do producing stuff because producing stuff uh, in cover if you have a small population so you must do like revolutionary industrial projects otherwise you cannot survive in that uh, in that period uh, such countries like european countries with less populations they're doing well why because they invested a lot of money in 
really in uh, smart projects, not like producing shirts, not producing like I mean uh, books. They're not doing big money from them. They're doing money from equipments, from software, uh, from what else? Cars. So really high, high potential industrial products. Okay, so we a little bit moved <clears throat> out from our subject, but I hope it was interesting for you. Let's talk about our partnership. So what point was, my point was that family is actually first corporations. Uh, your teachers and other teachers may say a lot of other, they may take other position towards this point, but uh, it's proved that family first corporation. Why? Because family is a first partnership. Even now your family is partnership. Why we can, you should say it's partnership, but because you, your role, your obligations and rights in a family is decided. For example, you, for example, uh, any guys like Nguyen, has a obligation of family right you must uh, wash the dishes uh, maybe cook some foods clean the table after foods right you have obligation father must bring money to home for example like three thousand four thousand maybe one thousand us dollars so what happens is someone's not working well in a, in your family what's going to happen you like a partner will be maybe your your portion uh, will be withdrawn so you may be you may you might exit your partnership or some partnership one some partners can say you're not doing well in our partnership so for example if husband father is not bringing much money to the family what will happen why will say right uh, you're not bringing enough enough money to our family so I must work more. So you must change your lifestyle. So actually is a partnership. Partnerships uh, principles working right now. So wife will change father's, uh, I mean husband's uh, role and functions. What happens if your if husband or father is not doing well at all, for example, he's drinking it every day, uh, he's not bringing money, he's he doesn't pay attention to the family. What gonna happen? What do you think? The obvious answer is uh, they're gonna divorce, right? So what hap what happening? Partnership partnership dissolved. Dissolution of partnership or termination of partnership will happen. It's obvious. What happened when you getting married? Getting married to another person. What happening? You moving out. You exiting partnership and joining new partnership or establishing new partnership. So historical lawyers and scholars say the family is actually first partnership. So it means family is kind of first, first, uh, like if you're taking, if you're tracing our historical background, family is uh, existed in the past, right? So it means when society created, partnership actually created. So I hope it was interesting, such a view to partnership. Do you have questions or you kind of contrary, you, or you have contrary thoughts against this? If you don't have, I will 
move to next. Okay. If we talk about partnership, what we have nowadays, I mean, general partnership, limited partnership, uh, it's actually product of European system. Not Indian, not Chinese, not Arabian. I mean, the most advantageous societies and the legal system at the moment is a product of European system. It's obvious, but even in Muslim law, they had partnership and agreement, but they didn't call it partnership, what we use. Why are we using partnership, actually? It's because of invention. So do you remember my first lecture when I talk about how law changing? Law changing by two means, actually. Uh, weapon and uh, communication by money or language. So someone bringing by a weapon, they change your law. Uh, another way is uh, they doing giving you money or this common common language allowing or making you eligible to study and adapt import legal systems from overseas do you remember this is that my statement that's that's why we call partnership right now in our legal system as a partnership because we imported it. We we were given such system. For example, if our, my country were not invaded by Russian Empire, probably we didn't we don't have a, we didn't have um, we didn't have a French Russian legal system. Precisely, uh, Muslim law would be adopted at, at this moment, but it not happening. So we using Western systems. So if we took taking a look to partnership, it was created as association of hires. So you can see right now on the screen that what happens, a rich person, a rich trader dead, so rich merchant dead, and his sons decided to continue his business. So it was first example of partnership creation. So after passing some years, some of son, maybe daughter, it doesn't matter, decided that he doesn't want to be involved in business. A lot. So he just want to take some earnings from business, but he's not going to manage this business. He wants to be out of board of management. He just want to receive some money from business. That's why the limited partnership was created. Because some said, some of them said, I don't want to be in the management. I don't want to have a big responsibility. Give me less opportunity, but with my earnings. That's why we have nowadays two types of partnership, general partnership and limited partnership. Um, we, I will talk a little bit, I think I talk about legal person and legal personality issue. So we have two definitions, legal person, person or you can say it legal entity, 
is the same. I can call it legal entity. So partnership actually is not legal entity, but partnership has a legal personality features. So most important point is that whether you accept partnership as a legal entity or you're giving it a legal personality feature. So France, I mean French legal system, saying that partnership is legal entity. Russia, I mean Russian legal system saying that, same. But German doesn't consider partnership as a legal person. Partnership in German law has a legal personality, but not legal entity. It's the most important part. Just remember it. UK, I mean United Kingdom legal system, taking the same position. In UK, they have a Partnership Act and Limited Partnership Act, and all of them saying that partnership is not legal entity. It's correct? Fine. Um, we have civil partnership, dude. Have you ever heard about? What's the difference between civil partnership? Have you studied civil partnership? I just chatted. Have you ever heard about civil partnership? Oh, really? You have only one? Uh, we only have normal partnership that uh, govern the relationship of um, limited partner and general partner. Oh, really? Yes. But in civil court, I think you have civil partnership, no? No. Can you explain oh, okay. our civil partnership first? Okay, I will explain maybe you call call it different maybe some some legal system call it um, simple partnership simple partnership or civil partnership or just partnership so so anyways word partnership or uh, agreement of common joint joint work something like this so agreement of joint work what it means is the same with general partnership, but regulated by civil code. What it says. So people, for example, I have a I have a building, right? Or I want to build a building. What I'm doing, I'm calling some of you. I say, okay, guys. Let's build uh, our new, uh, let's construct our building and sell it. So we together join, it's, jo it's kind of joint venture. We join together, sign contract, and we investing. So we working and investing to construct the building and sell it. After selling the building, our contract ended, terminated. We call it civil partnership. Why we call it civil partnership? Because we're not creating a trade name because we just build it and sell. So we we just join our, our efforts in one point and that point doing work. After finishing work and selling the property, 
our relation finished. So, do you have such system in your country? Um, no. So, what I get from your explanation is um, civil partnership. Um, it forms and dissolves um, along with the uh, civil contract. But mm -hmm. in our system, firstly, partnership um, as a corporation, uh, as an enterprise, it needs to be registered for it to become a partnership. And um, and I can see that uh, you have division of general partnership and limited partnership. However, uh, under Vietnamese law, there's only a partnership. And then under that, we have two kinds of partner, general partner and limited partner. General partner are more managerially involved, whereas limited partner, they only care about the um, profit that they get from their investment, less involved, so uh, less um, right to participate in the management of the company. I see. Yeah, it's really interesting why it happened. So actually you can write an article, I think, about it. It's really interesting. I'm surprised. I will study your civil code. Let me, for next class, I will study your commercial code and uh, your civil code. Yeah, Maybe. so yeah, so the mode of liability, it also uh, is dependent on whether they're a general partner or a limited partner. Yeah, let me set a memory uh, on my phone. I will study partnership system. If you have a good, uh, good articles or some books in English about your system, please, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, you, you, someone sent me law on enterprise twenty twenty right definition. Okay, I will, I will study. So what I, what I wanted to say is that all legal systems, except uh, except UK, they have civil partnership. Okay, let me finish my memory definition. Tab one seven seven. Uh, we can, but I can. Yeah, yeah, please send me. Uh, I really, I will be grateful, really. Because to make a more interesting our classes, I think I need, I need to, I need to, I need to know a little bit, have a vision about Vietnamese legal system also. Yeah, I, 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 I will be really thankful. Please send me. Okay, let's let's move. So we have civil partnership actually in Germany, in France, in every I mean in my country, in Russia, in Kazakhstan, or except UK and uh, and uh, probably US. I don't remember exactly US. US legal system, but uh, in UK they don't have civil partnership because their general partnership covering civil partnership as well. In UK, general partnership is not required to register the business name and uh, they don't need to do anything. So they call it partnership, but exactly but at the same time, it's covering. So it's regulating civil partnership relations and general partnership relations. So it's really, be, it's really comfortable for UK. In case of German legal system, they have division, 
they divided into th three three main types: civil partnership, general partnership, and limited partnership. General partnership and limited partnerships they are subjects of commercial activity. They were invented, created under under um, under trade law. That's why partnership. They treated partnership as a, a trader in uh, German law. But they have civil partnership. Civil partnership, they needed as a contract between persons. The same, ex the, the, when they talk about example with a building, this is a, I just talked. The scholars and the lawyers in Germany, in France, and everywhere, and in continental European systems, they're saying like, it's not, it's not business activity. There's just one project program. So it's just have a one project, which they're gonna finish, and their relations gonna end up. Why we should treat it as? A, business entity or giving some legal personality. So in such cases, they allow it to establish civil partnership. Uh, my Zoom meeting will finish, I think in less than one minute, so you should enter again using the same link. Civil partnership, actually, uh, as a matter of fact, that you you cannot register trade name in a civil partnership. You just sign contract. That's all. And each partner in civil partnership can act on behalf of partnership. You you might ask, what the difference?